Hello YouTube, welcome back to Nupkin Farm. As you can see, uh, there's some rain in the offing and I'm not quite sure when it's going to fall. So I thought I'd duck out here quickly and make a video about something that's been on my mind a little bit. Any trip to the Northern Rivers, particularly in the hinterland, you're gonna see lots of macadamia farms and the outside of every macadamia block looks very healthy. And there's a reason for that. It's the trees there have full access to light, no competition from other trees, and as you can see from this example, there is flower galore. Beautifully, beautifully done. And that looks great, but it's not until you go into an, an orchard block where you can sort of see the real picture about how the majority of the trees are faring. And there in my orchard, the story becomes um, a bit more pessimistic. We've got trees that are overgrown that should have been pruned possibly 10 years ago um, to, to keep them in height. They're largely Hawaiian trees that resent pruning anyway. They give you a bit of a sulk for a few years after you prune them uh, and they won't give you many nuts. But as with a, a lot of these Hawaiian varieties is as they grow taller, they grow wider and they compete for sunlight and the only way they know how to compete is to grow up and they keep growing up using more and more food in order to give you a crop and with the flowering and nuts right at the top as opposed to the tree I just showed you um, you have a management issue because you will you will do poorly now this is block two and According to my harvester contractor, who was measuring what he got from each of my old blocks, this one was the least well-performing block, and it's something I expected would be the case. What do we do with an overgrown orchard of Hawaiian trees uh, that you know needs to be rehabilitated? Well, again, you can try the pruning. Although you don't really solve the problem, you can take the height down, the, the trees will sulk for a few years and then start cropping again, but if there's only light by growing up, then they'll grow up and um, all your effort in pruning will have been wasted and in the meantime you'll have had a big hit to your production. So that's probably not a good option. A second option is um, row removal. There's a couple of ways you can do it. One is you can just heavily prune every second row of your block and then after a few years take out that heavily pruned row allowing in the meantime the trees to grow in. The second method is you could just rip out every second row um, and, um, and, and not wait for the pruning in between and the third way is that in every four rows of trees you rip out the middle two and in the middle of the two that you've removed, you plant a new block of trees. And the way the mathematics work is if you remove every second row, this is a seven by four spacing, this block. Um, if you remove every second row, you end up with a 14 by four spacing. If you remove the middle two rows and plant a new row, you end up with um, 10 by four spacing eventually. And that's in the hope that the new trees you plant will get enough sunlight to grow up and uh, grow up amongst the remaining trees and I think that would probably that would probably work here if you chose the right one right chose the right variety so what to do and it's really been a sort of a lump in my throat decision but the tentative decision I've reached is that I am going to just remove every second row in this block only so there's an element of experimentation I wouldn't do it across my whole orchard I'm going to do it in one block and see how it goes. Um, won't be doing the interim pruning of the rows to be kept because this particular year is forecast to be a wet spring and summer and a wet season is uh, a good time to actually remove every second row because it minimizes the risk of sunburn or shock in the rows that, um, the rows that remain. What uh, row removal also does is gives you an unlimited, well, a, a very large source of wood chip that can be spread under the remaining trees that have root exposure issues. And you know, here is 
just one random example of a, of a root exposure issue here. It's happened with erosion over time. Also the fact that macadamia harvests come along and they sweep, they sweep up the nuts from the roots and towards the middle where they can harvest them. Um, you can road broom the debris back underneath the trees, but the root exposure here is reached the level where you really need some sort of wood chip and you can, by row removal, effectively kill two birds with one stone, as wood chip is in fact very valuable and quite expensive to bring in from outside. So, yeah, this particular spring is, is going to be a, a bit of a tough one. Um, I'm also, as part of the row removal, going to get rid of the stumps of the random trees the previous owner removed. Some of them are growing back a little bit, as you can see here, but it's really nothing more than a rootstock variety. There's another one there uh, that's growing back, but it'll never give me another nut. All they're really doing is robbing nutrients from the neighbouring trees, and um, it's best to have the stumps excavated and chipped if the contractor has a big enough chipper to do stumps. If not, then unfortunately it's a bit of a burn job for the trunks. What I'm hoping is that if we do remove every second row, then the stumps in the remaining rows can be replanted with another tree uh, and there may be enough light to, uh, to, to grow up a new tree. I'm thinking possibly the 788, which I'm experimenting with, which is a nice upright tree that'll you know, grow upright quickly, or even a 741, again, another vigorous upright growing tree that probably wouldn't mind a little bit of a shady start and would probably grow up to, to match it with the existing trees in the row. So, um, look, it feels better talking about it <laughs> than actually just thinking about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll hopefully do another update soon, and particularly if I can come back when we're in full flower. That really is a sight to behold on a macadamia orchard, and I'd love to share that with you all. Have a nice day. Bye.